meal one. It's fried rice with chicken satay and some other stuff. So anyway, I'm on route to Saudi Arabia to perform my Umrah. I'll be there for 12 days. It's quite a long flight. Look at it. It's about 8 hours left. A bit more to go. But now it's time to eat. So we've got some soy cooked beef with rice and veggies. Oh, check the view outside. There is literally no sound right now in the airport. It is so quiet. I think our flight was the only flight coming in. So the airport staff gathered us and they want us to go through this building thingy to greet us. Okay, we're moving in and they started throwing flower, flower petals on top of us. Oh, what, what are they giving out? They are giving out some dates. Thank you, shukran. Check out my date for tonight. This dude is giving out zam zam water, I guess in a traditional method, but it looks like they're sharing two mugs. Uh, it's okay, it doesn't look hygienic. Not after a long flight. So we're now making our way to the bus finally. I got the front most seat. I'm not sure how long the journey is gonna take, but I'm gonna take a quick nap right now. Everything looks so chaotic. There's people crossing everywhere, there's a traffic jam. So we finally got out of the bus and we're at our hotel now. It's Bahauddin Al Medina Hotel. I have no idea how they're gonna get all our luggages through these three small lifts. Well, I've been proven wrong again. When there's a will, there's a way. They're playing Tetris inside the lift right now. We are on the 8th floor and I told my mom to take the lift with everyone else and I'm gonna take the stairs 8 floors up. Oh shit. I made it first. Let's get in the room. This room is definitely not meant to house three people. I think that's all for day one. It's almost 4 a.m. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning, we are heading to the Nabawi Mosque right now. It's just in front of the hotel. We are coming through gate 25 and as you can see, the sun is nowhere to be seen. We're here for Subo prayers. I've not been inside yet, but so far this is the most beautiful mosque I've ever seen. Just look at the design. We're done and now we're heading back to the hotel. I don't know if you realize this, but this mosque has a very interesting umbrella design. And if you can see outside, the umbrellas are open now. But when we came in earlier this morning, it was closed. So now we're heading for breakfast and all the meals are provided by the hotel at the R floor. So, a uh, fairly weird buffet choice for breakfast, but I have eggs, nuggets, fried rice and some sort of sambal. It's 7.20 in the morning right now. And now we're gonna visit Muhammad's grave. Tomb? Grave. Tomb? So the tomb is in the mosque itself. Check out the umbrellas unfolded. It's so beautiful. We are now in line to get to the area under the green dome. And there's quite a lot of people. You know you've entered when the carpet changes from red to green. There were a lot of guards so I couldn't really record much. So behind this door lies the tomb of Prophet Muhammad. Abu Bakar and also Omar. Okay, so we're now making our way out. I think I should also point out that I'm not the most religious person nor am I the most knowledgeable when it comes to Islamic history. So I'll try to uh, get my facts right and educate you guys throughout the whole video but I'm really sorry if I'm wrong. And please correct me if I am wrong. Stopping by this nearby restaurant to get my kebab. It's got some good reviews online. And we are back here in the mosque. There's a lot of people doing these informal classes between the prayers, just sharing their knowledge. This post prayer crowd is considered quite small. So we're done with prayers and now we're heading to the hotel for lunch. We are heading back to the mosque and the sun is about to set up now. 
they are serving some dates, bread and water for the people fasting today. I'm not fasting but I don't want to miss this experience. <laughs> We only have a few minutes to eat before they clear it up. So efficient. I think this guy probably had too many dates. Okay, now we're checking out this mall nearby. I think that's gonna be the end of day two. See you all tomorrow. Good morning, it's 4.15am right now. And I just wanna let you guys know that the daily vlogs now are gonna get much shorter because it's gonna be revolving around the same thing. I'm gonna go to the mosque, I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna eat. So I'm just going to talk more about the things that are different. It's really cold this morning, it's about 15 degrees. I'm on the bus and we're now heading to the Kuba Mosque. It is the oldest mosque in the world that dates to the lifetime of the Islamic Prophet Muhammad. It looks like there's going to be a big crowd up ahead. And we are finally now going inside the mosque. This place is unfortunately filled with all these little kids begging for you to buy stuff from them and they won't let you go, they'll follow you, they'll grab your hand, they'll do whatever they can to make you buy their stuff or give them money. Oh my god, check out what this girl is doing. She's literally holding the guy's jacket and not letting go until they give her money. That is so scary. There you go. She, 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 that's not, that's not enough, she does, she wants more. Oh my god. She wants from the guy as well. She's like, you got money in your bag? You got money in your bag? Oh my god. What is happening right now? Okay, so now we're heading back into the bus and we're gonna go to this place selling dates. We have just arrived at the date store and it's pretty crowded and also extremely noisy. Everyone's trying to get the attention of the buyers to buy their dates. That's a real innovative way to hold the mic. We bought a lot of dates, a couple of kgs. This is gonna take quite a bit of our luggage allowance. And now we are on the way to visit Mount Uhud. Look at everyone hiking up that little mountain. So that mountain hosted a very historical Islamic fight in which Prophet Muhammad actually lost the battle. The bus entrance to this place is so narrow. Look at how, I mean, how little space there is. Up ahead is a burial for 70 of Muhammad's friends that have fallen during the battle. We're back at the mosque and the sun is so hot today. So my dinner is chicken korma, fried fish, some indomie, and the legendary salad. That's all for day 3. See you all tomorrow. Starting my morning with some nuggets, fried rice and some kind of egg. We're in a rented van right now and we are heading to the Kuba Mosque, the one that we visited yesterday. We're so early that the market hasn't even started yet. This mosque has a very interesting idea for a roof. Alright, see you guys after the prayers. So the market is open now but all the markets and all the shopping malls are basically selling the same stuff here. Look who I found. And thankfully, we brought some food donated by our cat Husky. Now we are making our way to the Green Dome area again. We don't have any plans today with the tour group, so we're just doing whatever we want. And oh my god, there's even more people today. Look at everyone go. Okay, so we're done with that and another cool feature about this mosque is that some of the roofs can just move to open up the views to the sky. I really have no idea how these people can sleep under the hot sun. I mean the tiles are cold but the sun is still burning your skin. So now I'm at a store nearby and I'm getting some keychains to be personalized to make for some souvenirs. And I'm also looking into getting a juba for myself. I think I'm gonna go for it. This white one. Yep. The day won't be complete without a kebab, obviously. So I'm getting a. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm getting one right now. Funny guy. 
So that concludes day 4. Check out the sunset. It's so beautiful. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're having a quick briefing this morning because we're heading out to Mecca later today so we want to make sure everyone is on time and everyone's on the same page. Check out the umbrellas, they're in the process of being open. Looks like someone is getting very comfortable. Zamzam water is provided throughout this mosque in these dispensers and it's really pure, it's cool and it's just really refreshing to drink. As you can see from the previous clip, I'm already in my Ihram clothing and now we are heading to Shajar Mosque uh, before continuing our journey to Mecca. We've arrived, so this is the place where it is the last point where you can wear your Ihram clothings, you do your Sunnah prayers for wearing your Ihram clothings and you also set your intentions for performing the Umrah. Just finished my Sunnah prayers and I see these guys on my left having a fantastic photo shoot. Let's get back on the bus. It looks like we're on another planet or in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's see how long it's gonna take. Thank God for internet even in the middle of nowhere. So it's gonna take 3 hours and 19 minutes. So we're making a stop for lunch and ever since we parked, this guy has been staring at us for no absolute reason. So that's our lunch in a traditional sharing platter. There's rice, fish and chicken. This guy has been chasing his bus for a couple minutes now. It's so hilarious. Anyway, lunch was good. Surprisingly, the chicken and the fish were really fresh and juicy. Now it's time to continue with our journey to Mecca. I believe that we are in the city of Mecca now. So we just got out of the bus and we're unloading our baggages. So we are staying at Royal Orchid Hotel in Al Safwa Towers and this is a proper hotel this time. The Kaaba is there just behind those walls. Check out the lobby. I told you this place is gonna be a real hotel. So we're gonna check in, change and we need to go to the mosque immediately to perform our Umrah. If not, we won't have enough time to do it by tonight. We're heading to the mosque to perform our Tawaf now, which is circling the Kaaba seven times. That's a live feed of the Kaaba. Ready for movie magic? Three, two, one. There it is, the Kaaba, right in front of my eyes. I still can't believe I'm here. We've just completed our Tawaf and now we're gonna do our Sunnah prayers. I still can't believe that I'm here in the Masjid al Haram and the Kaaba is just right in front of my eyes. So now we're gonna perform our Sa'i. So during the Sa'i, we walk seven times back and forth between the hills of Safwa and Marwa. And this is to reenact the time that Haja was looking for water. So when we reached the area under the green lights, we were supposed to run a little bit as you can see there. We just got at the starting point at Safwa Hill and it's pretty packed. We have officially begun our Sa'i and we are sticking to our tour group now. We're about to enter the area under the green light and we're gonna do some light running. <laughs> And now we walk back at a normal pace. Now we are heading in the opposite way and we've got to do this another 6 more times. Alhamdulillah, we have completed our Umrah. I forgot to include a video of us snipping our hair to signify that we've officially completed it. But yeah, we managed to do it all at the first try. Now it's time to head back to the hotel. A little treat. And that's all for day 5, it's been really long and tiring. See you guys tomorrow. Morning, we just finished our Subo prayers and I just want to let you guys know that a lot of the videos now will be from my iPhone because the guards aren't really fond of my Canon camera. It's a breakfast buffet at this hotel as well and they've got quite a lot to choose from. I'm waiting in line right now for a freshly made omelette and then we'll have a couple minutes to rest and back to the mosque. Check out all the people performing their tawaf under the midday sun. It is really hot. I think we're gonna do that one of these days. It's night time now and I didn't really include our lunch and all the other prayers that we did um, throughout the day. 
So I'm done with my last prayer for the day and these people are also about to be done with their Sunnah prayers. That's all for day 6. I'm trying out this really popular fried chicken. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. Uh, it's 4.22 in the morning right now. So we are done with morning prayers and I'm back here at the egg station, obviously. So we've got eggs, probably too many. Um, nuggets. Uh, sausages, shawarma and something healthy to balance it out. We are now heading to the mosque to perform our Tawa Sunnah under the midday sun. And no, I'm not wearing any sunblock. It's like a little mosh pit near the black stone. Looks fun, I'm gonna try touching it. Sorry for the vertical video but this is the safest grip for going through the crowd. And this is me touching the kiswa which is the cloth covering the Kaaba. And this is me trying to touch the stone. You have no idea how rough the people are, how difficult it was. It was hot, people were sweating. Thankfully, I managed to keep my cool. Um, I'm tall, so breathing was quite easy. So I just stayed with the crowd and eventually they pushed me in. And as you can see there on the right side, that is my hand touching the inside. I didn't manage to kiss it. I didn't really want to because people were spitting, licking it and I didn't know if I was going to come out alive if I was the one furthest in front. So that was an interesting experience. Now I'm going to head back to the hotel and take a break. I'm back at the mosque and just like in Medina, they are feeding um, some food like dates and bread to the people fasting. So we have dates, tahini sauce, some tea and some cheese bread. So that's the end of day 8 and what is this guy doing staring at my camera? Okay guys, goodbye. See y'all tomorrow. Morning everyone. So today we're gonna do a bit of visiting. We're gonna take the bus and we're gonna see a mountain and a mosque. So our first stop is Mount Arafat. And it is believed that this is where Adam and Eve reunited after many many years. Check out all the people making their way up the little mountain. We are walking towards the site now and it is so hot I can barely open my eyes. This is as far as I'm going, I'm starting to sweat a lot in my ihram clothing. We are back on the bus now and on my left are these tents that, if I'm not mistaken, they're used by the people during the Haji season. So now we are on the way to Jitranah Mosque. I'm not entirely sure about that but if I'm not mistaken, it is called Jitranah Mosque. It's been a really tiring day for everyone under the sun. Um, almost everyone is asleep in the bus except me and the Ustas. That's a very odd looking deer. There's a really big stadium on my right. I don't think I can recall hearing about Saudi Arabia in the sporting news at all lately. So this is what the Jitranah Mosque looks like. It's not really big but yeah a lot of people are here. So I'm done with prayers and now we're gonna head back to the hotel. We're still on the way back to the hotel. So there's nothing else planned for day 8. So I think that's where today's vlog ends. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh look, birds. Good morning guys, it's day 9 and we're having breakfast right now. So there's nothing much planned for today. I'm just gonna do my tawaf and that's about it. I think this is the fourth time I'm doing this seven rounds around Kaaba. There is this guy and uh, he's just pushing himself around Kaaba. And also there's this other guy, he's just giving out tissues and plastic bags. I managed to get behind him for a closer look but this guy has been moving pretty fast. He's just sliding in and out of the crowd. So he's just holding the tissue in his hand for anyone to take, anyone that's sweating because it's pretty hot. And also he gives out plastic bags for people who did not bring a bag to keep their slippers or shoes. Check this out, it was raining just now. But it only rained during the prayers so I couldn't take a video of it raining but... Yeah, this is how wet the floor is on the outside of the mosque. Alright, day 9 is gonna end now. I managed to join the group of people breaking their fast again. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
morning it is day 10 and i managed to catch the people cleaning the tawaf area there's nothing special going on today other than the ordinary stuff so let's just skip today but before i end day 10 check this video out this guy is sleeping in a very confusing manner you can easily mistaken him for a corpse Good morning, it's our final day here in the hotel and also in Saudi Arabia. So I'm in the lobby now, we've packed our bags and yeah, we're ready to make our journey back home. So we all checked out successfully, now we're on the bus heading to a lunch place before we head to the airport. We've arrived at the lunch place in the middle of nowhere and it uh, looks like it's a typical chicken and rice sharing platter with some fruits on the side we are done with lunch it was surprisingly good so now we're heading to Jeddah airport which is also called King Abdul Aziz airport we should be very close by now because there's a plane ascending right in front of us I think this is the airport wow it looks quite dodgy and they've still got the umbrella design going on here this is definitely one of the more unique airports that I've been to and, and not in a good way. There goes our luggage and that's only one of the carts. We have two carts in total. That's how much luggage we all have. Didn't I tell you that we have a lot of luggage? Looks like we gotta get in this shuttle bus again to get to the airplane. So that's how the bags are sorted. This is probably nothing compared to those larger airports but it's still cool to see how these things work out. It's a surprisingly long trip from the terminal to the takeoff point but I think we're uh, finally here. This isn't our plane, I think it's the next one. This is my seat and we are the first few to get onto the plane. It's gonna be another long flight, about 8 hours and a half. I opted for the seafood pasta because I am so done with anything fried and anything chicken. So yeah, something different for now. That was the best sleep I've ever had in a flight. Thank God for business class reclining chairs. So there's about 1 hour and 44 minutes left to the flight. Not bad. So one more meal before we touch down and I'm having nasi lemak. We are technically in Malaysia already. Just a bit more. So that's the end of the Umrah trip and the Umrah vlog. It was a really interesting trip but very tiring even though I do a lot of sports and workout. So thank you guys if you managed to watch the whole video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.